You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is an unboxing of some actual accessories, sort of, which go with this. So this uh, pen right here is the Spoke Design Icon, which I got a while ago, and it has been living very happily in this pen well right here, which you can find at, I think, goodmadebetter.com is the name of the, the site for that. Uh, Dan over there makes these awesome things which turn every pen into a desk pen. And since this has no, goodness, has no clip, and you're not gonna hurt it by dropping it, has no clip, it works very well in here. You just kinda unscrew it and uh, just drop it back in its own cap when you're done writing. Write a note, drop it in there. It's worked great. So, uh, there are accessories that go with this pen because it, ex it is extremely customizable. It is essentially four, I guess, five parts, give or take. You have a body, you have the inner sleeve, which definitely comes out, and we'll show you that today. It has this section, and then it has a cap. And the section and the interior... Um, sleeve liner guy are all interchangeable between these pens and you can swap them out for different color combinations with uh, different colored bodies different colored uh, bodies and barrels and caps and it's it's kind of great so uh my one quibble with this pen i will say before i get into this package has been the section because the section is a little bit too skinny it comes in at nine millimeters right here at the pinch where my fingers rest and it's just a little bit too small for me i prefer it to be around 10 or 11 and so nine is just like a little bit less comfortable than it could otherwise be and so early on i said brad this needs to be a little bit thick a little bit thicker and he's like uh don't worry i'm working on different sections so new sections have become available and uh here they are Nope, too gentle. I know the thing is over here, so I don't want to... Let me in! There we go. There we go. All right, so... <laughs> ah, I cut through one layer, but not two. Solid. All right. So, in here... We'll find the important bits. Uh, let's see here. All right. Let's have this little foam guy. You have a spoke design sticker. Love a good sticker. And I have here two, uh, two sections, and they're a little bit different. So let's get in here just very carefully. There we go. It's good to have a sharp knife, so you can just cut through just the piece of tape. That's important. All right. That. Now you can see there are two colors of section here and two styles of section here and that's because I already have some extra parts for this pen and so I got them in different colors. Uh, I got here a knurled section in the cyan that I already have in this pen with this with the barrel that came with it or the uh, the sleeve that came with it which this looks very nice it feels good it's like it's got a little bit of grip but it's also kind of smooth which is what you really want in a knurling. And then this one is grooved. These go for 12 bucks a piece, which I think is perfectly reasonable for a you know machined and anodized part to uh, swap into your pen. And I got this one in, uh, what's this color called? Lime, I wanna say. Yep, this is lime, which is, uh, it's kind of like an acid green more than a lime, but looks really good. All right, so why did I get those colors? Well, because I already had lime section and sleeve here as well. So. You can buy all these parts separately and mix and match throughout this pen. Uh, this is the lime sleeve, my lime concave section. And then this tool is what uh, you use to remove the sleeves and put them back in. You can also do this if you have the right size flathead screwdriver, I found. But uh, this actually works way better. So let's start taking this thing apart and putting it back together again a little bit. All right. So to disassemble... You remove this. Now this already, this is an inked up nib. As I said, I, I use this a lot. Uh, so I'm just gonna leave that in there. I have a couple of spare nibs we can try out. So there we go. Let's do this one first because I don't have to replace the sleeve. Let's slip this little knurled guy in there. And there we have it. Easy, easy peasy. Swapping pen parts is pretty easy. Uh, I have a couple of nibs. These are my own nibs here. And uh, so let's give these a try. Sticking those in there. These are Yovo number six nibs. You can find these on my store. This one actually has my face on it. Uh, I have several several varieties of those. You can find a link in the description or down below, inky-d.com. All right, so there we go. This is uh, first impressions is that it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty great 
great feeling. It's it's a it's a larger section than the concave by where's my caliper? I think it's supposed to be a little over ten. Let's see. Junk. Yep, ten point five. That's a, that's a good size. This should be about nine, right? Yep, nine. So uh, an extra millimeter and a half right there. It's not slippery, although it is very smooth. It's not the kind of like extremely grabby knurling that you sometimes get, which like will hurt your fingers a little bit sometimes. This is a very nice sort of smooth, small form knurling. Really good. Way better than if this was just smooth though, because that would be very hard to hold on to. I like the concave because it gives you something to like move your fingers against and it doesn't slip. But uh, the knurling, also very good. Okay, so let's try, uh, let's, let's take this whole thing apart again. Set this over there. I've got to remove the inner sleeve. To do that, you just look inside there and you can see those little little divots in the inner sleeve. And you got these little ears on this dude. It's kind of, there you go, it snaps right into place. And then you just turn it in the direction you're looking for, remove or install. Good stuff. All right. Can I just can I spin this? I can, but it's not as easy as just turning it. There we go. That's all there is to it. Set that aside. Grab the new one. You can actually see through all the little slats now. It's just a, an empty cylinder. Junk. It's mandatory to drop the uh, the included wrench at least once. I guess this isn't a wrench. I guess it's more of a screwdriver? I don't know. There we go. Now, put this on there. And boom. Acid green. Let's put another nib on this. This is, that was his nose's face. Nose is my cat. He's a good boy. That's his face. These are laser engraved by Jonathan Brooks. I've also got them with Scraggles the dog and my nib logo for my channel. Right there. All right. Real nice. Uh, I think this feels pretty good. It feels a little bit narrower than the other one. And uh, you're going to want to put your fingers, I think, on these grooves. If you hold it, if you have a high hold, this one might not be as good for you. Although it is nice and nice and wide, it is a little bit, I mean, it's anodized aluminum, so it is a little bit slippery. But right here, feels pretty good. And that's that's pretty much where I hold a pen. So feels pretty good so far. Not having written with it for any length of time, I like it. And uh, this acid green is a pretty cool color. I don't think it pops through the silver as much as the cyan does. The cyan really shines through there. For some reason, acid green is a little bit more subtle on this pen, but you still get this great pop of color when you take that off, which is pretty darn cool. So check out the Spoke Design icon uh, at spokedesign.com, and you can buy all of these pieces separately and lots of different colors for the barrel and cap of this pen. Uh, it's, a, it's a really nice pen. Actually, let me go ahead and measure this, just because I measured the other two, and it would seem silly not to do that with this one. All right, so... Uh, kind of at its midpoint there on the rings, 10.1. Then down here is very smallest area. Uh, that's in, oh, no, let's go down one more. In a groove, 9.7 millimeters. So, you know, still thicker than the other one, uh, but uh, significantly smaller than this one, which is 10.5. So I'm usually holding it right about here, which is probably about 10 millimeters. Uh, yeah, 10.2-ish to 10.5 at the, the the widest part here. So yeah, 10, 10 and a half, pretty good size. I, I dig that. So there you go, new sections for the Icon. And you can actually buy these different size sections when you buy your Icon if you want. There's a drop down menu that gives you all these options. So pretty great. Go there, check it out. And uh, you know, tell, tell Brad I said hi. I won't get you anything, but you never know. It always helps out small, uh, small reviewers when uh, somebody notices our stuff and says, hey, uh, I like that I saw this on Mike's channel. So there you go. All right, I'll see y'all in another video. Peace out.